Fast Friends by Heather M. O'Connor, illustrated by Claudia Davila. Tyson did everything fast. He printed fast. He moved fast. He ate fast. It sometimes made him knock over his chair or the red paint or the kids in his class. His teacher was always saying, too fast, Tyson. Recess was different. Tyson could jump and climb and race around the schoolyard speedy quick but he couldn't go outside until everyone was ready. Every day, Tyson had to wait and wait and wait. Some days he'd say, hurry up. Those days, Tyson played alone. One day, a new kid joined the class. This is Susie, said the teacher. Susie didn't say hello. She didn't smile. She didn't even look at anyone. But she did look at the race car picture hanging on the wall. Tyson saw her. The car was red and shiny, just like her chair. And the driver wore a crash helmet, just like Susie. At lunch, Tyson finished speedy quick. But Susie ate her lunch through a tube, so she was even faster. When Tyson reached for his favorite book, Susie already had her eye on it. Want to read? he asked. When it was time to go outside, the teacher picked Raff to walk with Susie, even though Tyson's hand shot up first. Be careful, Raff. Walk slowly, said the teacher. Raph did, so slowly that Susie took a snooze. The next day, Tyson read to Susie again. This time, the teacher picked Lisa to walk with Susie. Lisa watched the big kids play basketball. Susie didn't. On his way home after school, Tyson heard, Beep, beep, coming through! He jumped out of the way. A shiny red chair whizzed by. Speedy quick. It was Susie. A big girl was pushing her. Coming through, she shouted again. Tyson caught up with them at the park. He climbed on the swing beside Susie. Race you. He pumped as hard as he could. Want to go fast, Susie? Asked the big girl. Susie waved her arms. Faster? Susie smiled big and wide. When Susie and Tyson were all tuckered out, the big girl said, Time to get my sister home. See you, Speedy. She zipped off with Susie, shouting, Beep, beep. The next day at recess, Tyson's hand was up in a flash. Can I play with Susie? The teacher wore his frowny face. Mm, okay, Tyson, but be careful. Tyson would be careful, but he would be speedy quick, too. Start your engine, Susie. And he raced her around the schoolyard. Susie and Tyson zigzagged past the teachers on yard duty. Beep, beep. The teacher sounded too fast, Tyson. Slow down. They rushed after Susie and Tyson. Susie and Tyson raced past the kids in their class. Beep, beep. The kids stopped playing, and they ran after Susie and Tyson, too. Susie and Tyson cut through the basketball court. Coming through! The basketball players stopped shooting hoops and started chasing Susie and Tyson. Then Tyson and the teachers and the kids and the basketball players all heard a new sound. One they had never heard before. It was Susie. She was waving her arms and laughing. Great big happy belly laughs. Tyson grinned. He wasn't too fast. He was speedy quick. And that was just fast enough. 
the end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that reading of Fast Friends by Heather M. O'Connor. Uh, this is yet another book that was nominated uh, in 2021's Blue Spruce Awards for our provincial from our provincial library of awards. Uh, and you know what? This was a great book that teaches us how to, um, I guess, not look at different people differently and how we can find things in common. I love that the book didn't even really call into attention uh, that Susie was different in in many different ways because all the kids were different. And actually, when they were showing the other kids, and you can see from some of the art, the way the things that they draw that they want to be, the, the, how they enjoy themselves, it's all different. Uh, and this was just a great example of how you can find uh, common interests, in this case being very fast, uh, with people who may seem different than you, uh, who may enjoy different things. Uh, it also uh, s s reminds us of a very positive message uh, about uh, how we can uh, interact and how we can treat and how we can uh, be friends uh, with the differently abled. Uh, and so that's a great way. It's a great book as well to start conversations uh, with young children uh, about that as well. Okay, so I hope you really like this book. Uh, I like this book. Another worthy entry, as I always say, the Blue Spruce Awards. These Blue Spruce, these Blue Spruce Award nominees have all been really, really great. And I look forward to uh, finishing the rest of them. Uh, so let me know if you like this book. Uh, and uh, let me know in the monthly roundup videos if there are uh, any other books you'd like to recommend for me to read. I would love to hear from you. But until next episode, I'm Elvin. This has been e-reading. Thank you very much for watching and be gentle and kind with one another. Bye now.